right, so we're gonna go ahead and make our way into a child's pose. So we'll have our big toes together and our knees apart. And we're just gonna sink on down. I'm just gonna rest here for a moment. And not only are we going to start to acquaint ourselves with our Ujjayi breath, But we're just going to start bringing some awareness to how our body feels. The child's pose helps us to not only get into the inner thighs and to the hips, a release of the back. It's also considered that resting pose for whenever we need a break during our Two different ways of being in that child's pose. One of them is with the knees apart, the other is with the knees together, more supported with the chest resting over the top of the thighs. So, whichever feels best to you, you can start a little bit higher, like I'm doing, if the body isn't ready to come all the way down to the earth. So, maybe the chest isn't ready to rest in the knees fully. You can always stack the hands and even just start to inch yourself down and use the fists. It's just like a head rest. So doing whatever feels most comfortable for you. Knowing that this is that place of rest, so if you need a break during the practice. And this is that place that you can come to. Checking in and start to really acquaint yourself with your ujjayi breath, that nice big inhale and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. Now start to inhale, look up, lengthening your arms out in front of you. Exhale to hold. Taking it again, you inhale to look up. You exhale to pull through. And again, inhale to look up. Exhale to steady yourself. And then walk your hands on over to the right. And we're just going to bow over the top of our thumb the best that we can. Feel free to drop the head. Inhale the next time. And coming around to center. And then exhale on over to the other side. So now we're going to bow over the top of that left thigh. Inhaling the next time. And then slowly coming right back to center. Coming on up, make your way into the top of the table. So we're stacking the bones here as the shoulders are right over the elbows, over the wrists, and those hips are directly over the knees. I'm gonna just rock my hips a little side to side. And I'm gonna neutralize, walk my knees back a little bit, Try to barrel circle my hips. Swinging them out. And when you do bring them out, you are swinging them out far enough to where you do feel a stretch. Inhaling and exhaling. Coming to center, 
Curl those toes under, send the hips right back into the heels. You're spreading those fingers really, really wide, letting the horns float up off the top of the mat. Slowly coming on up, inch those knees up slightly, stack the bones again. Now cat cow stretches. Going with nice fluid inhales and exhales. And steady yourself right back to center. Get in a wrist, a little bit of a right. Forearms come down. Let's rest the palms open. And then curl your fingertips in towards your wrist. And then open them up. And then right back with the fingertips. And then open them up. One more time. Curl those fingertips in, making a fist. Good, open up, and then slowly come on back to the top of a table. Spin those fingertips so they point out to the side. I'm gonna go with a nice gentle rock from side to side. And then right back to center, spinning the fingertips around. Let's open this right arm out to the side. Go with a nice big circle of that arm coming forward. Now just waking up the upper body, and then reverse in a backstroke motion. And then setting that hand down, other side, opening up out to the side and circle the arm. And reverse. And then bring that hand right back down. Let's send our right leg behind us. I'm gonna point my toes down. For now, keeping my right hip bone also pointing down. Be careful not to bear all the way into the left hip. And now I'm going to circle out my ankle. I'm just going to make nice big circles here. And then I'm going to reverse. And I'm going to point the toes back. And then I'm going to curl in. Knee in towards your chest and squeeze. And take that leg back and squeeze in. Now I want you to squeeze your glutes when you take that leg back. We're gonna go for five times. Here's three. And we'll go for one more and squeeze in and squeeze and hold. Good job, set that knee on down. Little break through the wrist as you lower on down. Drop the head and look back in between. Good, slowly coming on up. Sending now that opposite leg back, leg back, left leg. Give a flex to the foot. Remember that that hip bone is pointing down. You're not bearing all the way into this right hip. Now point the toes back and just circle out that ankle. Good, point the toes back and squeeze and for five. Here's three, two, last one, squeeze and pull in. Good, take the leg back, lower the knee on down, curl the toes under, and then hover the knees up off of the mat. All right, so those toes are curled under. We're getting a good stretch. Now I'm going to send my hips back towards my heels, and then I'm going to shift forward. So this is going to require core strength, and then shift it back, and then come forward. And it's going to require quadricep strength as well as inner and outer thigh strength, and take it back. One more time, shifting forward, hover and hold, and now pick your hips up and back, and find downward facing dog. So now we're just gonna let the head hang heavy. We're gonna walk it out, bending that one knee at a time. 
Nice long arms. Steadying yourself, long spine. That should feel really, really good. Uh, shift forward, find plank. We don't collapse into the hips. We keep them high. If you need to modify, drop to your knees. Heels back, heart forward. Good. Drop on down to the knees. Sit back into the heels with the toes curled under. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, practice your arms nice and thick. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus the arms nice and big. Take it up again. When you're drawing the arms down, add your own resistance. And then exhale, hands to your heart. Let's go ahead and send those hands back on down to the mat, top of the table. Right leg comes back. Toes are going to point this time. Send your left arm forward. Take a bend into the knee. Reach back and around. Catch the foot. Lift away from the mat. Get a shoulder stretch here. Good. Go ahead and release. Send those toes back. Reach the arm forward. And release the hand. Release the knee. Other side. Left leg back. Point the toes. Right arm forward. A bend into the knee, reach back and around. Now you get that nice shoulder opener, push your foot into your hands. Good, and slowly release. And bring that hand and that knee back on down to the mat. Let's find plank pose. So heels back, heart forward, strong leg, strong core. Good, downward facing dog. We're just gonna walk it out again here. Your head is going to hang heavy. <sighs> yeah. Drop in between your hands and bring both feet on up. We'll look up halfway. We'll exhale, fold it on forward. And slowly roll all the way to standing. Bring your hands. Just touch your lower back. Put those hands into imaginary pockets. Feel free to gaze up. And bring your arms down at your side. I'm gonna face you so that you can see me better. Inhale, reach up. Interlace your fingers at the top, inhale. And exhale, just lean on over to one side. Lengthen away. We're going to keep our hips squared off, so I don't want you shifting here. They stay squared off, and you're leaning on over. Good. Inhale to center. Exhale to the other side. Reach and reach. Good. And right back to center. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's go ahead and bring an arm across the body, look over your shoulder. Go with a slow release, reach the arm up and over, and lengthen up. Good, right back to center. Opposite arm comes across the chest, look over your shoulder. Good, and then slowly release and reach over. Good, and right back down to center. Let's go ahead, make our way to the top of our mat if you're not already there, and inhale, reach up. Exhale, folding on forward. Inhale to look up halfway. Exhale, take both of your feet back, come into a plank pose. You can lower it down to your knees and take a modified Chaturanga, rolling down into a little cobra. Exhale to soften. Press yourself back up. Roll the toes under, downward facing dog. And we're just going to walk it out, bending one knee at a time. Go with the shift forward into plank. 
Pick this right leg up, toss it over the body as though you're gonna tap that left elbow and take it back. So we're meeting right now in the middle and then take it back and then out to the right, squeeze and take it back. Good job, downward facing dog. So when you are making those movements, I want you to add your own resistance to it or add more strength to it. Whatever is gonna feel best for you so that you can get the most out of it. Good, shift forward, come into plank. Now that left foot picks up, cross it over to that right elbow, take it back. Meet at center. Good, take it back. Let's go to that outside elbow. Good, take it back. Set the foot down, downward facing dog. Let the head hang heavy and walk it out. Good, look up in between your hands. We'll bring both feet on up. You're gonna inhale, look up halfway. Exhale to fold forward. Let's firm down. Rise all the way to standing. And hands to rest in prayer. At your heart, arms down at your side. Let's move on, inhale, reach up. We'll go nice big cactus, arms out to the side. Exhale, a nice gentle fold forward. Inhale to look up halfway. Exhale, both feet back. If you can, try to go full Chaturanga Dandasana. Lowering on down, coming through to Cobra. Maybe you're doing up dog. Press back into downward facing dog, and we'll walk it out again. One knee at a time. Checking in with your breath, and then sending this left leg back and behind you. Feel free to fan open the hip. Let's not collapse into this right shoulder. So keep the shoulders squared off. Good. Now bring that foot all the way in between the hands and come into a lunge. Drop your back knee down. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, practice just the right arm. So you're pulling something down, reach back up. Practice the left arm. Good, reach back up. Let's practice both arms out to the side. Good job, reach back up. And settle on down, that back knee picks up. We take that left leg back. Good, let's go Chaturanga. Come through to a cobra or up dog. Passing back into downward facing dog. Heavy head, walk it out. Good, right leg behind you. Nice and big, no collapsing into that left shoulder. Bring the foot right in between the hands. Drop the back knee down. Inhale to lift up. Sinking down. Good, practice just the left arm as though you're pulling something down. And then reach back up. And now that right arm. Good, reach back up. Both arms, tap it out to the side. Send the fingertips back up. Exhale, hands come down. Back knee lifts up. Bring that leg on back. Move through your vinyasa. So great job. Downward facing back. Heavy head, walk it out. Bending one knee at a time. Good. Step or lightly hop up to the top of your mat. Inhale to look up halfway. Exhale to gently pull forward. And then firming down. And roll all the way up. So a gentle roll. Bring your arms with you. And exhale. Hands to your heart. Good. Hopefully everybody is feeling great. You're starting to really wake up the body. So it's really important as we move through the poses that you are adding your own resistance. If you want to modify, you can. 
or even go deeper than what I'm instructing. Let's go ahead and move on. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, let's get down into a chair. Let's tag those our arms nice and big out to the side. Hips are drawing back. Good job. Exhale, hold forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, take both feet on back. Chaturanga, the last minute. Through to cobra or up dog. Press it on back. Downward facing dog. Good. Let's bring this left leg back and behind. Bring it on through. Now you can still modify if you need to, but otherwise we are going to come up. Full crescent pose. Okay, so feel free to drop that back knee down if you need to. Exhale, left elbow. So you're pulling something down. Cactus that arm. Reach back up. Right arm. Good. Reach back up. Exhale, both arms. Open the heart. Reach back up. Exhale, hover over the top of the thigh. Reach that heel back. Squeeze inner thighs together even though they are apart. Good job. Come back up. And send the hands all the way down. Great job. Left leg back. And move through your vinyasa. Great. And downward facing down. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit stronger. Right leg behind. Step it through. Remember, you can always drop the back knee. Otherwise, full crescent pose. Right elbow out to the side. And reach up. Left elbow. Good. And reach up. Both elbows. Open big cactus. Reach back up. Hover over. Reach and reach. Press that heel back. Lengthen the fingertips forward. Good. Slowly come on up. And send the hands all the way down. Bring the leg back. And vinyasa. All right. Doing great. Downward facing dog. <sighs> Maybe an exhale. That is audible. Out through the mouth. And let's take a brief child's pose. That can be with the big toes together, the knees separated, or into a supported child's pose. So this is a great opportunity to give these wrists a break. Settle on down. You may notice that you're able to get down a little bit lower. And then slowly coming on up, right back up, top of the table. Knees come in, tops of the feet, press on down. Let's go with just a few cat cow stretches. All right, let's make our way right back in to plank pose. Downward facing back. Step or lightly hop to the top of your mat. Inhale to look up halfway. Exhale to fold forward. Come all the way to standing. And exhale, hands to your heart. Let's go ahead and move on. Inhale, reach up, right down into a chair. Hands to the heart. Knees stay together. Let's twist it out. Maybe one hand comes down, the other fingertips reach up. Maybe this arm's even going to come back and around. And again, keep the knees even. It keeps the hips even. 
Come back to the side, namaste, if you took that arm variation. Right to center, twist it on over to the other side. Back to the side, namaste. Right back to center. Exhale to fold. Inhale to look up. Exhale, both feet come on back. Go Chaturanga Dandasana. Come through to Cobra or Up Dog. Press it back. Downward facing dog. Let's go with the left leg back and behind. Step it through to Warrior Two. Back foot will swivel down. Arms going to windmill open. Nice sinking down. Good. Inhaling and exhaling. Straighten out the front leg. Good. Just pausing here for a moment. Come right back down into warrior two. This time the palms will meet at the top. And then we'll exhale. Now act as though you're pushing something down so you can add your own resistance and that you're pulling something up. And then coming back down. One more time as you lift up, straight leg. Good, right back to that warrior two. Sink down, gaze is steady, and then send the arms all the way down and move through your vinyasa. All right, let's go with the right leg behind. Getting now this rear view foot comes in between. Warrior two, a big windmill of the arms opening. Nice and steady here. Good, straightening the front leg. Right back down into warrior two. And then bring the arms up as though you're drawing something together. And straighten the leg. And then right back to the warrior two. Take it again. And one more time. Lifting up. Right back to warrior two. Sink it down, steady the gaze, feel the strength. And windmill the arms all the way down. Bring that leg back. Chaturanga. Cobra or at dog. Downward facing dog. Great job, everyone. Let's go again. Left leg behind. Step it through. Warrior two. Windmill those arms open. Palms face down. Straightening the leg. Lengthen the fingertips forward. Let's go triangle pose. Trikonasana. And reach. Don't lean into this leg though with this hand. Or you can set the fingertips down if they rest to the earth. Leg coming on up. Circle back and around. Let's reach back. Right back to warrior two. And come on down. Great job. Right back. Vinyasa. And the right leg comes behind. Step it through. Warrior two. Straightening the front leg. Lengthening forward. Reach. Using core strength, coming up, reaching back. And right back into warrior two. And send the arms all the way down. Take that leg back. You're doing great. Good. Let's come to child's pose. 
Good job, everyone. Rest on down. You may notice that your cardio picked up, that heart rate is up. That's really good for your heart. Slowly coming on up and finding top of the table. So as we're stacking the bones here, I'm going to have my left palm rest down, and I'm going to send my right leg behind me. So that's going to give me some stability versus having, say, my foot here. That doesn't give me the stability that I need. I need it back and behind me. So I'm going to stack my shoulder over my elbow over my wrist, and I'm going to reach this arm up, this right arm up. I'm going to really engage my core here, then I'm going to send my arm out and over my ear. I'm taking my head back, I'm not letting my head drop forward. So I'm taking it back, I'm reaching back up, and then I'm going to just curl in and squeeze, and then I'm going to open back up. And I'm going to use my obliques to do this. We're taking it five times. Here's three. We've got two more. Last two. And last one. And I'm going to bring my hand to my hip. I'm going to really steady myself. And I'm going to utilize balance and pick up the back leg. I'm flexing the foot so that I can keep my leg engaged. Good. And then slowly release it on down. Now let's go through some cat cow stretches here. Good, and I'm going to neutralize. I'm going to firm down through my right palm. Now I'm going to send my left leg back. So now opposite side, and I'm going to stack my bones so that my shoulder is over the elbow, over the wrist. And then I'm going to send my arm up. Same thing, you really utilizing my core, squeezing my obliques. Good, I'm going to bring that arm out and over. My head is back. Good. slowly come back up, and then I'm going to curl in. So I'm going to squeeze in, and open up, and squeeze in. Remember, we're taking it five times. Two more. And I'm going to bring my hand to my hip, firm up the back leg, flex the foot, balance. Good, and then set that knee on down. Good job. Come right back to the top of the table. Let's give those wrists a break. Come down to the forearms, send the hips up and back, and drop on down. And then slowly coming on up. Press yourself back up. Coming around and resting on either side. And what we're going to do is stack our knees and rest our head <coughs> into the palm of our hand. I'm bringing my knees up a little bit closer towards my chest. I have my feet together. And this is going to work on this targeted area of my glutes and bringing my hand right in front. And we're going to work into what are called clams. So my feet are going to stay together, but I'm going to open the knees and I'm going to target my area to be right here into the glute area. And then I'm going to open back up 
and you're adding, you know, like your own resistance. And so it's hard to peel this clam open and then have to squeeze it close. Okay, so 15 times, here's four. Make sure you're breathing. We've got five more. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. Great job, last one. Good. Let's go ahead, straighten the leg, give it a tap. Then we're going to send the leg on over, give it a tap. And then come right back to stacking. Then I'm going to straighten the leg and I'm going to bring it up. Then I'm just going to give it a stretch. So I'm going to reach and just try to give it a nice stretch. You can round up your ankle. Good. And then take a bend into that knee. Drop it on down. Press yourself up. Swing the legs around and we'll switch sides. Now you come on to that opposite side. <coughs> Stack those knees, rest your head, knees come up in towards the chest. We're just fully relaxed here. Now we take it on this side and we're gonna open up and squeeze together 15 times. We've got 10 more, make sure you're breathing. Notice the difference between the two sides, maybe one side is a little bit harder. We've got five more. So we'll go five, four, three, you're doing great. Here's the last two. And one, good job. Now straighten that leg. Then drape it on over. Good, stack the knees for just a moment. Then straighten the leg and then lift that leg up. You can round up that ankle. Good. And then slowly take a bend into the knee. Rest it on over. All right, so now we're gonna make our way onto our back. I like to use a blanket for my head. And if you have a block or you have something that you'd like to place in between your knees, you can. So we're going to work our glutes. So I'm going to place that block right in between my knees. I'm going to bring my arms down at my side. <coughs> and my feet are hip distance apart. So I don't have them close together. And I don't have them too far apart. So your heels should line up with your six bones, right? So I'm gonna just really let my lower back rest into the mat. I'm taking my gaze up, my palms are down, squeezing my block in between my knees. And I'm gonna drive my hips up, and then I'm gonna lower on down. I'm gonna take this 15 times. I'm really squeezing my glutes and my hamstrings. I'm also making sure that my lower abdominals are fully Engage. 10 more. Last two. Here's two and one. Good. And release. You can bring the block off to the side. And then just rest your arms into cactus and just drop your knees on over to either side. Just getting a stretch through the side body a little bit. And then to center and on over to the other side. Good 
Good job. Come right back to center. All right. So now we're going to do just one legged. So one foot presses down. We don't get floating toes. And we pick one leg up, arms come down either side. We're going to really drive through this right glute. So I'm going to press up and lower down. So we're only going to take this 10 times. Here's two. Last three, here's three, two, one. Great job, set that foot down. Hug your knees in toward your chest, curl into a bowl. Rest the feet on down, hands come back in behind your head, elbows wide, lower back, flush into the mat, and we're gonna break in between before going to the next leg, and we're gonna pulse up for 25, so it's pulse, Two, three. Ten more. Ten, nine, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, let's firm down left foot. Right foot picks up. So we're going to drive now through the left hip. Ten times arms down at your side. And press up and lower. Lower abdominals are engaged. Five more. And five. Three. Two. One. Good job. Set it on down. Now, if you don't need that head support, bring your arms out your side and we'll pulse up for 25. So it's pulse two. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Good job. Arms down. Knees in. And let's circle the knees out. And then reverse. And then send the legs up. So we're going to... Make sure you have some good room around you. Arms can come out to the side. We're gonna separate the feet and then we're gonna scissor them at the center. And then pause and hold, squeeze, and then feet pull out to the side, all right? So we're gonna scissor 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause and hold and squeeze, and then feet come again out to the side. Let's come back and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, and 1. Good, and out to the side. Two more sets. And 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, and 1. Good, one last set. Good, come up and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, plus 1. Good, pause at center, arms down at your side. You can come into power, that is something modified to that. Take the legs back and stretch through the back. Keep the head, the gaze up the thighs. Good, and lower. Down. We're going to keep those legs, those toes pointing up. We're going to make some circles on to the ceiling. And reverse. And now we're going to just take a bend into the knees, give ourselves a little break, curl into a ball. And then slowly lower on down. All right, legs are gonna go back up. Head is either supported or down at your side, or you're gonna reach the fingertips up. All right, we're gonna pulse up for 25. Pulse two. Good. 
There is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Take a bend into the knees. Good. And just let those knees fall out towards the underarms and just drop. All right, take your right leg over your left, drop the feet down, arms come into cactus, touch your right leg over the left, roll slightly to your left hip, drape the knees up. Your gaze can go to the right. Back to center. Unwind, switch sides, left leg comes over, roll slightly to the right hip, and the gaze is going to go to the left. Unwind, and then begin to rock on up. Seated with the soles of the feet together. Inhale, that sound holds on forward. Go ahead and bring one leg in and the other leg out to the side. We're going to keep our bottom down when we fold forward. If this knee is hiked up a little bit, just go ahead and support it with if you have a yoga block or some sort of towel or blanket. Right? Inhale and exhale. Remember the bottom stays down. We're just going to lean gently forward. And we're going to get that nice stretch through the inner thigh, through the hamstring. We don't want any hyperextension into the back of the knee, so be mindful of that. Feel free to drop your head and let your head come heavy. Swap out those legs, and one comes in, the other one swings on out. Again, this bottom's going to stay down. We're going to get that stretch through the inner thigh, and we're going to pop up our knee in the event that it's hiked up a little bit. You just want that supported. Remember not to hyperextend through the back of the knee. Then go ahead and just walk those arms forward. Let's let our head hang. down you come We're not trying to get our chest to the earth but if you do that's great I'm just more concerned about getting the stretch the openness into the hip into the lower back that stretch you know hyper extension Have 
shake our legs to center. Give them a good shake out. Point and flex. And then inhale. Find that extra skin out from underneath. And exhale. Go with a gentle pull on. Let's pick up this right leg, cross it over the left. Squeeze my knee in towards my chest, utilizing my biceps. I've got a nice long spine. Keeping that straight leg active in front of me. I'm going to wrap my left arm around my knee, and then I'm going to gently look back and twist and look over my shoulder. And then I'm going to slowly unwind. I'm going to twist on over to the other side. Slowly unwinding, picking that knee up, bringing that knee in to the outside of the ribcage towards the underarm, and then reaching that leg on down and give it a shake. All right, other side, bringing that leg on over. Bring the knee in towards your chest, relaxing the foot. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, let's go ahead and take that right arm around. And we're going to twist that. And we're going to slowly unwind and then twist. Slowly and then take this knee up and bring it into the outside of the underarm. And release that leg on down. And then how and that towel to hold yourself on down, make your way onto your back. Bring the soles of the feet onto the mat. Bring your left ankle to the top of that right thigh. Pick that right foot up and let's go ahead and thread the needle here. So this is going to feel really good if your hips are still kind of tight. You want to draw that right knee in, let your left elbow rest to that left inner thigh. Inhale and exhale. All right, softening that foot on down. We're going to come one leg and happy baby with this left leg. We're going to keep our right hand into our right hip. Remind this hip to stay down. And then I'm going to release, and now I'm going to switch sides. Right ankle to the top of that left thigh. Come on through. Hold the top of that shin. Draw the left knee in. Let's let that right hip open up. You're inhaling and exhaling. Go ahead and release, set that foot down, one-legged happy baby on this right side, left hand. Rest onto that left hip as a reminder to keep it down. Yeah, let's take this left foot up and come to happy baby. Full oh, happy baby. And feel free to rock side to side. Make the hands on the inside of the knee creases, maybe by holding on to the big toes. All right, 
let's bring the soles of the feet together. Peel your knees away from you. Tilt your head slightly back. Let your heels draw towards your groin. Good. Slowly release on down. Knees out to the side. And resting on the inner thighs. Good. Draw those knees in. Send both legs out. Point and flex. Tuck this right knee in to the outside of your rib cage. Give a squeeze. Good. Reach that left leg down. Let's tuck the right knee in to the outside of that rib cage. Give a squeeze. And then send it on down. So now we get and come to our final pose, Shavasana. So if you use those essential oils, just a little dab into the palm of your hand. Give a little rub of the hands together. Bring your hands up and around your face. Your feet fall wide, start to relax the whole body. Now rest here peacefully in Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Rock your head from side to side. Go with the hug of your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug this morning. And either arm up and over your head. Roll to your favorite side and slowly come on up to see it. Rest your hands in prayer at your heart. Chin into the 
ever so grateful to guide you today. Grateful to be here. I'm wishing each of you a happy, healthy, and safe rest of your day. Namaste.